to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me for another one of my videos. So this was once again a highly requested video, just like all of my Law of Attraction videos. I have such a list to get through. So this has been on my list for quite a few months now. Um, so today I wanted to talk to you all about angels and how we can use angels to work with Law of Attraction and how they can help us in our everyday life. I've been working with angels for probably well over a year now and I discovered angels quite early on in my awakening and in my Law of Attraction journey. Um, through Kyle Gray, who is a fantastic Hay House author who I just adore a lot. I have all of his books and they're just so inspirational and so on our level, I think, of, because I think there's always been great angel books out there. You can't deny that. I just feel that Kyle speaks in a way about angels that makes it really easy to understand and really easy to bring it into your everyday life and the great practical practices as well to help you, you know, call upon your angels, call upon your angel army and work with them because I think we all probably know about angels and we may know and we may know a few bits here and there of like Archangel Michael and people like that or people, angels like that. Um, but I think Kyle brings it into a new perspective and just really helps you to really understand each angel's purpose, how to call upon them, what to do with them and how and what they can actually heal in your life. I think they are definitely my favourite thing to work with in the Law of Attraction because they just help so much. And especially when you're going through a big transformation in your life, you'll probably naturally see them or feel their presence anyway. So you're probably all aware of signs of like white feathers and their calling cards as such when they've been around you or your guardian angels have been around you. So we all probably have had an experience with angels and I've definitely had a guardian angel experience and a lot of angels. Like I would say there's a lot of angels in my life who are obviously humans, but they are like angels who come into your life and help you and then leave almost as if they never existed, which is quite freaky, but really, really magical. So the first experience I had well before my awakening was about three years ago. I mean, I'm not sure whether I consciously remember having angel experiences before. I may have, but I don't consciously remember them. But the first experience, which I can say 100% was a guardian angel was three years ago when I started my extreme couponing business. And for the first year, I didn't earn a single penny. I literally just did it out of wanting to help people and dedicated my time completely free to my page, my website, everything. Like I wasn't earning a single penny and I didn't know I could earn any money. So to me, I was like, all I'm doing is helping people and posting links. So a man messaged my Facebook page and he said, why aren't you earning money, Emma? Like you could earn some serious money off your page. Like you need, like you should be paid for your time you dedicate. And I kind of thought it was a scam at first. I thought this man is crazy. There is no way I can earn money off my page. Like what is this man on about? And you hear about all these scams online and quick ways to make money. And I just thought instantly like this is obviously fake. So he was like, no, 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 like, let me show you. He said, I do affiliate marketing myself. So he was like, let me show you, like, this is my page. This is how I earn money. This is how I use affiliate links. And he literally set me up on all these affiliate networks, showed me how to use affiliate links, showed me how to use everything. And I kind of thought like, this is too good to be true. Like, this is lovely that this man has reached out to me and taken the time to show me this because without that man, I would not be sat here today. I would not be earning money. I would not have my house. I would not have paid off my debts. I would have not have the incredible life that I have today because of that man. And like at the time, I don't think I appreciated the pure generosity of this man or what was about to happen. So he showed me how to use all these affiliate schemes and to earn money and I started earning money instantly. So this man gave me the platform to be able to leave my job, to become self-employed, to become happy and to transform my life really. And a couple of weeks later, I went back to my Facebook messages to go and thank this man, to say like, thank you so much. Like you have done something massive for me, which no one probably would have ever told me about. And his whole Facebook page has been deleted. So I searched his personal profile and his personal profile had disappeared. So it seemed weird because obviously he had his own business anyway. So why would his profile be deleted, his business's profile be deleted, and I could not find this man anywhere, like anywhere. And his name was Michael, 
I don't remember his surname, but his name was definitely Michael. And to be honest, like when I learned about angels, I was like, that's so Archangel Michael, like so him. And I think that was my first instant with angels because obviously someone was looking down on me. Like obviously someone wanted me to like start earning money and transform like my life and help so many other people. So it was strange and still to this day, like he's never resurfaced. I can't find the messages. I can't find him anywhere online. It is so weird, but I totally 100% know that it was an angel experience, 100% now. So my other angel experience was later on, um, probably a couple of months into my spiritual awakening last year, uh, I was walking into the bathroom to go to the toilet and no, like I was living by myself at this time. All the windows were shut. Um, and I walked into the bathroom and in my right hand ear, I heard my name called out so clearly. It was like someone was stood behind me. And instantly like I turned around like, what the hell was that? Like I thought maybe someone was in my flat. And then I checked all the windows in case like someone was calling me outside. I checked my phone in case I like pocket dialed someone, nothing, no explanation. And still to this day, I don't know what it is, but to me, it felt angelic, it felt very loving, it felt very caring. And at that stage, I was just summoning my angels as such and kind of asking for their help. So I feel like it was them saying, look, we're here, we're here with you every day. Like, you know, believe that we're here, we're helping you and healing you. So I love those experiences. They're both amazing experiences, very different experiences um, and and when I went to my psychic Rachel, a couple of months after I started doing all the law of attraction and angel work, she actually said, you don't realize how much you are being helped by angels. She was like, you've got a whole freaking army up there. And I was like, what? Because obviously like we summon them and I suppose because we don't see them or like sometimes we hear them, but you know, consciously we probably don't hear or see them. Like we don't really know how many are up there looking down on us and helping us. So it felt almost overwhelming. Like, you know, Rachel doesn't know me. She doesn't know my situation. She doesn't know I've been sat there like praying to angels and asking for their help. So like, that's crazy that this whole bunch of angels are helping me. So I was really, really like touched by that. I'm really happy. And I still feel their presence massively. Like I see angel numbers a lot. So a lot of you will see like 1111, 222, 333, 444, 911, loads of numbers. They're called angelic numbers. So do make sure to Google any you see because they all have a different meaning. And 1111 is like your spiritual awakening and like angels talking to you. And I see 333 a lot, which is very angelic, very holy and like very like communication from the universe. So yeah, Kyle's book was the first book I read which kind of introduced me to angels properly and kind of, you know, enabled me to summon them. And the first thing I really did with them was to help heal me because I was really, really heartbroken and really upset and in probably the worst place of my life. And crystals were helping me, the law of attraction was helping me, I was helping myself. But I do feel that angels helped heal me as well. And angels are incredible for cord cutting as well. So a lot of people and a lot of my life coaching clients do say to me, I just feel drained by this person. Like I've cut them out of my life. I've done this, that and the other. And I still feel like they're draining energy. And this is because whoever we come into contact with, we have an energetic cord connected to them. So it's like, imagine it's from your stomach connecting to the other person's stomach and all of us have a white energetic cord. Now, when you visualize your cord between whoever this person is, um, it can be different colors. So with my ex, it was a very dark blue color, whereas other people's can be white, red, there are loads of different colors. It depends on the relationship and the type of person they are, I guess. So what I learned to do is called angel cord cutting. There's lots of um, assisted meditations online by Dorian Virtue. Um, and some other great people. I did this myself after being suggested it by Rachel, my psychic, and it was just amazing. So you basically visualize the cord running between your stomachs um, and it will just naturally be a color and you imagine Archangel Michael coming in with a big blue sword and cutting, like literally cutting it in half and it disappearing. And you just thank Archangel Michael afterwards and keep, you know, keep doing it. It may work once, but I had to do it quite a few times with my ex. So 
you may have to do it quite a few times before you feel like yes it's definitely been cut but it's such a powerful it's such a powerful thing to do and it will help you so much in the long run so this is Kyle's book which I've mentioned so this was the first one I discovered for angels properly and so many of you love this anyway because of the law of attraction practices and how amazing you feel with raising your vibration and then the second book I got from Kyle is wings of forgiveness so this really helped me as well to learn to forgive and use angels to learn to forgive myself and everybody else in my life um, so this is an incredible book which I've read and it really just goes into more depth of how angels can help us how they can heal us because they really can do incredible things and then the most recent book I got was also from Kyle Gray this was actually free in Soul and Spirit magazine um, but I think you can buy it on Amazon as well I've seen it on Amazon um, and it's called Angels How to See, Hear and Feel Your Angels so this is a great like beginner's guide if you just want like some great knowledge on angels this is such a good book and it just teaches you little practices of how to call upon them, how to see them, how to hear things, how to ask for signs. You can ask them to leave you little signs that they've been. Um, and yeah, it's amazing. And then another great thing I did was get some angel cards. So these are Doreen Virtues and Radley Valentines. And these are probably the most popular angel cards out there on the market. I absolutely love and adore these. I probably have used these quite a lot in the last year of my life for different situations or when I've needed guidance. And I can't even begin to explain to you how accurate they are. It literally pinpoints so much. And it was really weird because one night I was asking for some guidance and I had my radio one and like it's, and it's like a Roberts radio. So it's got like, obviously you've got the DAB and like the little antenna and stuff. And I was doing some angel cards because I needed some guidance and I asked for their guidance. And then as soon as I had loads of interference came on the radio and I was like, oh, this is really freaky, like really, really, really freaky, but kind of comforting, but really freaky. So that was like quite weird, but I loved it anyhow. And the reading I had was amazing. Like I can't even begin to explain how accurate they are. So I normally do a three card spread. So you have like your past influences, your current influences and your future. So it's kind of like past, present and future of the situation. And I have had 100% accuracy in every single one I've had. So I would 100% recommend these cards. They are incredible. And you know, I, and they're great for just seeking guidance on any situation, whether how big or how small. It's great to give you the chance to bring out your own and trust yourself and trust your angels and trust that the universe is really working in your favor to help whatever situation may come your way. And everything like, so they don't exactly predict, but you know, they do have really specific meanings and everything that has been in my future has 100% happened. It's really, really freaky. So also another thing I've used to kind of work with angels is actually crystals so I don't know how well you're going to be able to see these but this is a little rose quartz angel and I got this from my local crystal shop I loved the look of it and I kind of wanted to invite angels into my crystal life as well and to just invite them into my home in general so I've got a little rose quartz angel and I absolutely love it it's so cute and then the other crystal I have is an angelite now my friend Kirsten got this one for me as a little present which I was so grateful for and it helps you connect your angels and summon your angels and connect basically with them which is great so I love this crystal and I always like hold it and just think of different messages or think of different things I need guidance on and one practice which I really love from Kyle's book is handing situations over to the universe or over to your angels so we as humans take on so much of our we as humans take on so much and you know we can feel burdened down with our manifestations sometimes we can feel burdened down with a lot of situations and for me, this was so powerful to learn this. So you have to read Racial Vibration for the exact text, but it basically says like, I hand this situation over to you angels to heal, to transform, and to help me get through this, and to help me get through this transition or help me get through this situation. Um, and I always like to add, you know, please give me any guidance I need. Please help me to learn the things I need to at the right time and for the highest good of all involved. So you can really ask them for guidance to show you things, to show you signs, and they always show up. Always, 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 always. So angels can be extremely powerful, extremely beneficial, and we all have our own little guardian angels. So Rachel said that my nan was my guardian angel, which which was really amazing because it's weird. I felt closer to her since she passed away and I couldn't 
realize why like I couldn't work out why I mean you know I have quite a few past relatives so why do I feel suddenly closer to my nan and it was because that she it was because she was meant to be my guardian angel so she always looks after me and she always gives me a telling off in Rachel's readings of like stuff I've done nothing too bad but just like tidy your house do this and I'm like oh man seriously so it feels amazing to know that she's with me and that she's my little angel um, I've also got a spirit guide, which isn't very like to do with angels. So we all have guardian angels. We all can summon angels and there's so many out there we can work with, so many. I can't ever begin to like explain. And I've also got Kyle Gray's um, Ascended Masters card deck as well. No idea where that is to show you, um, but I'll insert a picture here. So basically you, they're a bit like the angel cards. So you can ask for situations or ask, you know, for help and then you'll pull a certain angel out. So whether it's Archangel Michael or someone else, and then you can read the description and see what they're trying to tell you, how you can work with that angel and how you can call upon that angel. But there are literally hundreds. So I couldn't sit here and name you them because I don't remember. <laughs> so there are some great tools to work with angels. I definitely recommend Carl Gray's angel cards, definitely Dorian Virtue's cards, definitely. Um, Carl Gray's books, of course. The crystals are optional, but to be honest, I just love working with angels, so I like to have them kind of amongst my crystal collection. And I am gonna be doing a crystal collection video because since my last one, it's probably doubled and so many of you want to see my crystals, so I will be doing one of them, don't worry. But I would say angels are incredible to work with. Like they're such peaceful beings and you always feel like full of love and full of light when you work with them. So there's nothing negative that could ever come from them. And you can also ask for their protection as well. So if you're doing meditation or like psychic things or anything in your life, even if you just want protection from a situation you're about to go into, whether it's work or I don't know, like a relationship or something, you could just ask for protection and just imagine a white light around you and ask for their protection. So you can literally ask them to help you with anything and they will. Um, but yeah, they're all kind of part of the universe, whether you think like, well, are angels really part of the universe? Like we're all the same thing really, like we're all angels, we're all part of the universe, we're all everything. And I loved the quote that I posted on Instagram the other day, which says, we are all winging it, that's what angels do. So I'll leave you with that one because I love that quote. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, it's so true. So thank you guys for watching this video. I will link everything in the description box down below I've spoken about for you to go and have a look at. And please let me know your angel experiences have you had any guardian angels or any angel experiences like I would love to know this so please leave me a comment in the comments box down below because I reply to them all and I'm sure we'd all love to hear your experiences and what books you'd recommend or any meditation you've done with angels like I'd love to hear it so thank you guys for watching my video appreciate all your views and likes don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because I would love love to see you again soon and I'll see you in my next video which will be on Friday lots of love guys